good morning from Crowhurst Christian Healing Centre. Welcome to our service of morning prayer. My name is Pippa. As I lead, if you'd like to spend longer in prayer or reflection, you can press pause on your screen and press it again when you're ready to continue. Today, our theme is the law of the spirit, the life giver. We open with some verses from Deuteronomy 6. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. And if we are careful to obey all this law before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us, that will be our righteousness. These are challenging verses indeed. Let's pause to come before the Lord our God who is one, the Father who loves and heals us, Jesus who is love come down, and the Holy Spirit who inspires, reveals truth and shows us Jesus. Just take a moment to allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. We read from Matthew 22. When asked, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbour as yourself. The message version of this passage describes it as love the Lord your God with all your passion and prayer and intelligence. We are certainly being challenged this morning. And of course, we can't do these things on our own. This is why we need the Holy Spirit, the life giver, the enabler, the teacher. Jesus breathed life into his disciples as he promised he would not leave them comfortless. This same Holy Spirit is within us, and his work is to make us more like Jesus. Let's pray and extend an invitation to the Lord. Lord God, we long to love you with deeper passion and prayer and intelligence. Lord, stretch our hearts and minds and souls that we might grow in love, be enriched in relationship and deepened in intimacy with you. Holy Spirit, we ask you to become more active in our lives as this is your work. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Come in power and have your way within us. An act of repentance. Lord, we confess that we have not always loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We are sorry, Lord. Forgive us and make us more like Jesus through the life-giving work of your Holy Spirit. And forgive us that we often fail to love our neighbour. Soften our hearts, 
change hearts of stone into hearts of flesh. We confess there are times when the speck of sawdust in someone else's eye preoccupies us more than the log in our own. Holy Spirit, we invite you to come now and reveal our blind spots and anything else we need to confess. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. Amen. We make our intercessions. Lord, look with favour on all who need your healing touch. All who have lost loved ones. Those struggling to feed their families and those who don't know where the next penny is coming from. Those who have lost their jobs and homes. The government, police and those working for social justice. May they be blessed with compassion, healing, wisdom and divine favour. Zephaniah 3.17 says, The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Amen. The promise for today is from Lamentations 3. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So may you know God's love and faithfulness throughout the day. And may he bless you with a fresh infilling of his Holy Spirit. Amen. You are welcome to join us again for evening prayer at 5.15. Goodbye. <laughs>